Watch the cone. Got the Harley out. We're gonna work on some sit downs, try some more one handers, a little bit of knee knocker transition stuff, definitely some more drifts, do some probably right side rolling burnouts with the foot down, maybe step off the bike and kind of walk it almost, and then maybe do some Larry's. This tire is kind of on its last legs, at least on the one side, so maybe I even it out and then uh, just blow the rest of the thing up. <laughs> Get it sexy, get it sexy. Oh, almost. I'm trying to keep most of my weight on the seat instead of on this leg. Ugh. Ugh. up today with Harley. Wheelies were a little bit tough today just because of the tire being so worn to the left. I had to fight it a lot and then drifts were amazing today. The one thing that I have to remember, a couple things actually, it's mainly about the clutch dump as opposed to like worrying about the throttle so much because if you get it leaned over and you dump the clutch just let it fly. You don't need much throttle especially if it's on the sidewall. It'll go and then once it's going staying all the way up on the tank and like leaning forward and keeping the weight on the seat not so much on my leg and arms and just worrying about like modulating the throttle and just kind of looking where you want to go i was feeling real good with them get real consistent in the clutch dumps so i just got to spend more time spinning it and then work on linking the uh, skid and clutch dump as opposed to skid stop dump the clutch and then tried some right side rolling burnouts this thing where i like start the burnout and get off and walk kind of like get off the side of the bike and push it and kind of let it go in a circle type thing. Great session, especially uh, in terms of drifting, which I'm really happy about on this bike. All right, we got the F4I out today. We're gonna work on some clutch work, starting staggered, do some clutch bumps there. And then hopefully I can get that little three piece combo of clutch work. And then we're gonna do some sit down circles. And I think what I wanna finish off with is the handbrake to knee knocker, foot brake transition that I was doing last time. I'm um, actually getting some circles going with foot brake there. So if I can hit those through today, then uh, it should be a pretty good day. <laughs> I gotta figure out those staggered clutch bumps better. Um, I would take it to the toy shop. Usually like for tires and stuff, I'd go there. Uh, most of the time I do my own stuff. Yeah, shit. I don't know uh, up there what's, what's really great or not. Yeah, I wish I could have a better answer for you, but yeah. All right, man, have a good one. You too. <laughs> See you, man. Dude, I just can't figure out the staggered stuff. 
If I stayed up, I probably would have rolled a lot farther. I totally could have fucking ripped that. There we go. Ah, you fucker! Let's go. Ah! Almost had both ways. Essentially, we're gonna start with some clutch work, clutch bump stuff, try and get my combo going, some sit down circles, and then actually get footage of the new knee knocker variation where my foot's on the seat. I guess that's not really knee knocker anymore, but foot on the seat with foot brake, and then probably some burnout stuff, maybe some rolling burnouts, high chair rolling burnouts, and then see if we can larry this thing and maybe just blow this tire off. some rolling burnouts here I'm gonna try to do a couple quick figure eights maybe a high chair rolling burnout and then try and larry this thing on limiter and hopefully my tire doesn't blow before I finish all that of doing some seat standard circles but just training a little bit of like precision 
So doing some wide ones and cutting it tight. I think that'd be a good idea if I want to do stalls because I feel like when I circle, I kind of keep the same radius all the time. Like I get it going and it just stays that way. I want to be able to open it up and tighten it up at whenever I want basically. And maybe like a uh, sit down, clutch up, jump to spreader. I don't know. That's on the list. I, I have to get out of spreader too. I haven't uh, really tried any of that before because spreader circles are also on the list. I feel like they're not that difficult. Maybe just a little sketchy to get into and maybe get out of. Most circle stuff is literally all the same except there's just different techniques for each body position I guess is the best way to put it. The concept is all the same. It's just like you know when you're seat stander you do this with your body versus when you're staggered versus Ralph Louie like the way you kind of hold yourself. <laughs> See how I kind of just circle tight like this? I want to be able to go wide around that whole circle. Because the thing is, if I can't control it and come wide, like say I want to circle around that, like I'll probably just end up hitting whatever object I'm around. <laughs> Watch the cone. I don't really know what I did differently because I still felt like most of my weight was on the inside. I think I was looking farther ahead. So I want to do a couple laps like that and then like be able to tighten it up. I got to try going from tight to kind of sending it outward a little bit more. These cones are getting worked. I'm gonna try and go tight and then cut it wide. <laughs> Fucking ran over the damn cone. Again. <laughs> Not the cone. I didn't even need to wheel it, I just need to like jump in it. Oh, that's not what I want. Kind of did a little bit of maintenance, got my master's bled and oil change, and we switched to distilled water with water water. Hopefully that'll keep the bike running a little cooler. With the 50-50 and some water water, we're sitting around 225 most of the time. We'll see if we can keep it in the low 200s. The bike's been running a little bit weird recently. I feel like there's more bog than there was before. I've noticed it in circles, especially when I was clutching up, and I really didn't change anything. I bought a new fuel filter. I mean, I feel like the one that's in there right now is probably the original one and it's probably pretty nasty like my idle is pretty consistent for the most part when i'm doing clutch up jumps i don't really want to have the bike bogged down on me and i miss where i need to jump i feel like once you learn how to circle tight it's 10 times harder to like recon them after the fact